Welcome to your UA Light Celestial Insight. Happy full moon and welcome to the channel. The energetic theme of March is the crossroads, right? Climaxes, cleanses, and karmic closure. And we can really think of March as the month of the crossroads because it's a month of emotional release and sobering reflection surrounding these important questions of how did you get here, right? In this moment in time in your life and what happened to your hopes and dreams. And it's also a month of excitement surrounding where you will go from here and where you can go from here with all that you know now from the last 15 years of what can be considered the Saturnian age, right? That has featured much change, challenge, limitations, and hardships in the world and in your personal life, right? Saturn and Pluto finally changed signs this month, which are the most talked about powerful transits ushering in dynamic changes, defining the next 20 years for the entire world, right? And where Saturn enters Pisces on March 7th, the same day as our Virgo full moon. And if you don't know, Saturn is the planet of karma and karmic rewards, right, for your efforts, for better or worse. And it really forces you to be accountable, to mature, and to gain mastery. And it will do so by placing challenges and divine limitations in areas of your life related to whatever sign and house it is transiting through so that you are really forced to learn spiritual and practical lessons for growth. And it has been in Aquarius for the last three years and finally moves into Pisces on March 7th, the same day as the Virgo full moon. But because Saturn was in Capricorn prior to Aquarius and is the ruler of both signs, we have actually been in a Saturnian age of rulership since 2017, right? The last six years. While Pluto has been in Capricorn, also ruled by Saturn, right, since 2008. And so truly, if things have felt tough for you in a particular area of your life for literally 10 to 15 years, like you're not crazy. (laughs) It is exactly because of this heavy Saturnian influence, which has really been hard for cardinal and mutable signs in particular. And for a full astrology breakdown about this, including psychic oracle insight on how Saturn and Pluto are expected to bring changes in the world and in your personal lives, according to your zodiac signs, definitely check out the new video posted on this channel, and it will also be linked below. That way you can get all of the deeds, right? And really understand what um, this sort of full moon is really about in terms of its magnitude and drawing things to a sort of heavy emotional and karmic sort of closure. Okay, so Saturn entering Pisces, the opposite sister sign of Virgo, on the day of a Virgo full moon, is significant in this month of being at the crossroads of karmic closure and this collective energetic process of emotional release and reflection and renewal and rebirth, right? And this will extend into April throughout Aries season. And this mix of experiences and emotions is really punctuated by transits at the beginning of the month, for example, where we begin March still in Pisces season with Mercury entering into Pisces as well on March 2nd, right? Making a conjunction with Saturn while it's in its critical final degree of Aquarius and stationing direct into Pisces, right? And so this is that energy of emotional but sober analysis and reflection about the past and your future with Mercury conjuncting Saturn in this critical final and also first degree of Pisces. 
And, you know, it's also punctuated by the fact that on this same day, on March 2nd, the same day that Mercury moves into Pisces and makes this conjunction with Saturn, Venus in Aries makes a conjunction with Jupiter in Aries at 12 degrees, right? While Jupiter is in a sort of two degree looming conjunction with Chiron, right? The wounded karmic healer these first two weeks of March until it is in an exact conjunction on March 12th, right? And so this again is sort of putting this emphasis on transmuting painful emotions and experiences and really seeing, accepting, and trying to hold on to the higher wisdom that it has brought you. And Venus and Mercury's conjunctions will essentially be gifting you news, insight, or an experience that is emotional and sobering in either a lighthearted or maybe even a devastating way, right? But to ultimately bring you closure of some sort so you can accept some truth about something and be emotionally and spiritually liberated to move forward, right? And with these particular conjunctions, it could be you receiving an apology you never thought you'd get from a parent, an old lover. It could be a financial gift or a proposition. It could be good news about an opportunity to learn and travel. But moreover, with these placements and the particular auspiciousness of the day March 3rd, right? 3 3, this master number 33. It's also an auspicious day to really take action and initiate an opportunity for yourself by being optimistic, looking your best, and having some sort of important meeting or shooting your shot, and generally taking some important step toward some larger dream. And then I was given the the psychic message that, you know, spiritually, because of the symbolic and energetic importance of this Virgo full moon and um, the 3-3 portal, that beginning a seven-day period of ritual would also be really, really, like, powerful and even advised, you know, for those of you who are really, really, you know, dedicated no, you're in this thing. You live this life, right? And so, you know, the thing about the full moon and its connection to water and us is that as energetic beings who are connected to the stars and made up primarily of water, we can start feeling the emotional effects for days and hours leading up to the actual full moon. And where, you know, these three days before and after are also pretty potent for ritual work. And not only is a full moon generally a product of the moon being fully illuminated by the sun, but in astrologers speak, the emotional and experiential tensions we can feel from things that get illuminated in our subconscious are emblematic of the sun and full moon being in opposition. And these oppositions give us things to work through, and we do this through shadow work. And for healing to be effective, you know, it's important to start with an expansive understanding that goes to the root in terms of how the things we experience and the ways that we feel well or not often corresponds to the planetary and energetic themes and lessons we're being asked to master for our soul evolution and more ease. When we're able to understand what's happening in both the conscious and subconscious, as well as how we're influenced by something greater than us, the government, and even society, we can do the work to be in harmony with it for our greater good. And we can achieve sovereignty. And honestly, this is what Saturnian lessons are really all about. So through shadow work, especially with the full moon phases, you know, it allows us to release and transmute past energy and dark energy so that we can invite new energy to take its place in our lives. Okay, and I mentioned that the Venus and Jupiter conjunction plus the Mercury-Saturn conjunction and the numerology numerology of 3-3, March 3rd, make that day an auspicious day. And so beginning on March 3rd, 3-3, it's a good day for 
lighting a seven day prayer candle, or using black or white candles, and really begin, beginning a sort of seven day full moon ritual to release all energy and ground in this new energy as we continue to get closer to the astrological new year, right? So for seven days from 3 3 to 3 10 or 3 11, right? Three days before and after the full moon on March 7th. It's really perfect to do a deep cleanse in terms of detoxing and fasting, limiting your foods to soup and, you know, clean and light energy, um, vibrational foods like fruits and staying hydrated, right? And to take salt baths and do magic, right? And to really connect with your guides the great mother who presides over the grace of Saturn, truly, and with your higher self, right? And to spend time journaling and truly taking an accountable, reflective, sort of psychoanalytic dive into the lessons of the karmic cycles that you have been in for years, right? And that you have been resolving and trying to push past for years, right? And it's also good to spend this time, you know, visualizing and down downloading and speaking what you truly desire for your life out loud, especially because of the significance of the Pisces sun and Virgo moon opposition, right? And because we have the sun making a harmonious connection with Uranus and Taurus while it is also illuminating the full moon and Virgo, right? And so Uranus and Taurus, they're with Uranus being in a harmonious uh, connection with the sun, that is a particular sort of um, connection that really amplifies being able to download and get psychic insights to access the higher realms, to access higher and creative ideas and visionary ideas, and in general to um, support transformation, right? And the Virgo full moon in general illuminates and exposes the ways that we need to purge, refine, and purify things like habits, routines that affect work, health, right? And also purifying any sort of deceptive people within our environments as well, right? And the Virgo full moon is also about the bounty of our harvest and our larger Piscean dreams. It can like it can be likely to experience really cataclysmic revelations and intense energetic downloads given this harmonious um, full moon relationship to Uranus, right, that has the potential to reveal so much about the divine course of our lives, right, moving forward. Revelations that confirm your deepening intuition and that confirm any prior nudges or inklings about work and your well-being that maybe you even chose to ignore. Spiritual and mystical revelations and experiences that even allow you to break free of anything and anyone that's held you back and attempted to inhibit your flow, right? If we're thinking about this Pisces sun illuminating or being in opposition to the Virgo moon, right? And in general, um, as a galactic opportunity for shadow work and purification to ascend, encouraged by the influences of of Neptune who rules the deep subconscious and of Virgo, we may seek or find better understandings, right, of past and present karmic patterns and lessons, addictions, and even come to revelations of evils and wrongdoings from others that have been lurking and that need to be expunged. And that is really going to continue given that both Saturn and uh, Pluto are on those critical degrees. And so it's like things are going to absolutely be revealed to you and going to absolutely even just happen in terms of external circumstances forcing certain revelations to the light, right? And in general with, um, you know, Virgo, it's all about purification in every sense. And it means the removal of contaminants, right? The process of making something spiritually or ceremonially clean. 
And so while it can happen in a number of ways and pertain to various contexts, it does require consciousness of the contaminants and the evils, right? A consciousness and a process tied to reflection and contemplation. But that, again, external circumstances will also reveal, given that Saturn is in those last critical degrees, right? Really initiating breakthroughs. And this full moon also makes a square to Mars in Gemini, which in addition to the previously mentioned sort of mystical and symbolic astrological meanings that sort of speak to this full moon encouraging emotional purging, it also coincides with the specific mystical teachings and predictions related to the 16th degree of Virgo, right? And also the fixed star at this degree, right? Where they both sort of give a forewarning of this full moon, you know, bringing potentially enraging situations right to the surface that there could be potentially enraging or angering situations that appear and that test your temper right signaling an opportunity to really face and transmute your feelings of rage and anger and in general reflect on how to channel that energetic capacity right into your will and determination for creating your future. The other thing is that um, this degree that's being illuminated with this full moon and also the fixed star, they both also um, suggest that there could even be literal emergency fire or volcano eruption disasters, right, that require crisis response. And so look out, that could be something that we see in the news. But in general, on all levels, overall, it's about release of deep emotional blocks, okay, and rebalancing, and then also harnessing your primal energies, right, towards your dreams, right, given this vast, vast energetic shift that we are in for, for the month of March. So we're going to do a really quick run through of astrological insight into what illuminations, crossroads, and karmic closures could be up for you around this full moon, according to your sun and rising sign. But you can most definitely check out all of the signs related to your sun, moon, and rising sign as well. So dear Aries, this full moon is illuminating your sixth house. And so you could come into illuminations or be at crossroads of karmic closure related to psychological and physical health habits and issues, right? That may be appearing for you, things that you want to transform and change. You could be understanding self-deception in a very different way or ways that you have played a part in any sort of um, scenarios in your life where you have felt deceived, right, or confused or unsure. And this is also a particular full moon where the sixth house is also associated with secret enemies. You could be having certain illuminations and uh, awareness about people who have been deceiving you and have not had your best interests at heart, right? And then this illuminating issues of boundaries, right? How you can be an agent in change and initiating karmic closure of these types of scenarios in the future by really enforcing your boundaries, right? And using your intuition to spot red flags and to really take action on any red flags of deception that you see around the people in your midst and in your environments. The sixth house is also about co-working dynamics and about your relationship working with others versus maybe feeling a urge to really focus on your independence, right? And working independently. And in general, the sixth house really illuminates any issues that you may have with work and life 
balance, right? And how you can get your work and life responsibilities and practicalities into greater balance so that overall your health is in good standing. For a full astrology breakdown about the karmic closures and new beginnings that are happening in your life, including psychic oracle insight on how Saturn and Pluto are expected to bring changes in the world and in your personal lives, according to your zodiac sign, definitely check out the new video posted on this channel and linked below in the description box. Thank you so much for watching. Have a happy full moon. Dear Pisces, so this full moon is illuminating your seventh house of partnerships. And so you could be experiencing revelations, crossroads, and karmic closures related to love and work partnerships, right? And particularly thinking about uh, love and work partnerships in light of any sort of new revelations that come in the interest of your assets, right? Really rethinking these in the interest of long-term stability, in terms of taxes and in general, what it means to really use discernment and perhaps put yourself first, right, when making a decision instead of being self sacrificial, putting yourself last, putting others before yourself. Thank you so much for watching, Pisces. For a full astrology breakdown about this, including psychic oracle insight on the sort of higher spiritual lessons related to Saturn and Pluto's expected changes in your personal lives according to your zodiac sign, check out the new video posted on this channel and linked below in the description box. Happy full moon. Dear Aquarius, so this full moon in Virgo is illuminating your eighth house, right? Which will perhaps bring you revelations, crossroads, and sort of karmic closure related to secrets and underhanded actions and issues that are revealed related to deception, right? And even unfairness with contracts, publishing, and partnerships with shared assets. The eighth house is all about how much you owe, own, and share with others. And so you could absolutely be facing some sort of crossroads and some sort of issue, right? With people who you're in business with, who you have been in part partnerships with, right? Related to um, shared projects and shared assets, right? And this could also relate to taxes. But in general, this absolutely suggests that this full moon will certainly lead to some sort of karmic closure in a relationship related to perhaps some sort of disagreement around shared assets or shared partnerships, right? And, and the particular sort of uh, tensions in some sort of relationship. Okay. And so for more information about this sort of new era that is being sort of initiated by Saturn and Pluto, which is expected to bring big changes in the world and in everyone's personal lives, definitely check out the new video posted on this channel and linked below in the description box. Happy full moon, Aquarius. Dear Capricorn, so this full moon in Virgo is illuminating your ninth house, which certainly uh, suggests that you may experience revelations or be at a crossroads and perhaps read some sort of karmic closure related to issues um, pertaining to higher education, publishing, travel, and even long distance relationships, right? Um, Maybe tensions could rise or some sort of contract or disagreement or opportunity. Something is going to reach some sort of closure related to this area, right? Um, I know in general that travel has been something that has come up in a lot of the Capricorn readings and in general Capricorns being in a 
huge sort of moment of change and transition in your lives. You are ruled by Saturn. So for a full astrology breakdown about this, including psychic oracle insight on how Saturn and Pluto are expected to bring changes in the world and in your personal lives, according to your zodiac sign, definitely check out the new video posted on this channel. Subscribe and like this video. And thank you so much for watching. Happy full moon. Dear Sagittarius, this full moon is illuminating your 10th house, which definitely suggests that you could experience revelations, be at a crossroads, or even experience karmic closure and new beginnings related to career, right? This suggests that you may be reaching a personal professional milestone or celebrating some sort of personal professional milestone or um, receiving feedback or some sort of achievement in the public eye, right, related to your career. And for a full astrology breakdown about this, including psychic oracle insight, all the sort of higher spiritual and practical lessons related to Saturn and Pluto those huge changes and transformations it's expected to bring in the world and in your personal lives according to your zodiac sign definitely check out the new video posted on this channel and linked below in the description box i remember specifically sagittarius that there have been some incredible things happening for you all so check out that video in addition to the personalized um 2023 year ahead spiritual advice reading that I did for you all. It should be super helpful. And in general, have a happy full moon. Dear Scorpios, so this full moon is illuminating your 11th house. And the 11th house is related to social groups, alliances, your social networks, and also your relationship to social media even. And so with this full moon, you could be receiving news revelations or be at a crossroads and reaching some sort of karmic closure in terms of your relationship to certain social groups. This could be social friend groups. This could be um, networks of colleagues. This could be alliances and organizations. Um, in general, any sort of network that you perhaps have been in relationship to for a very long time, you could be reaching some sort of karmic closure and experiencing external circumstances that for force this sort of karmic closure in these sorts of relationships. And um, in general, for a full astrology breakdown about this, including some psychic and spiritual advice on how Saturn and Pluto are expected to bring changes in the world and in your personal lives, according to your zodiac sign, definitely check out the new video posted on this channel and linked below. It definitely has some insight related to this, in addition to the other readings that I have done for you all recently, where it looks like you all are definitely going through. Um, some sort of change with regards to work um, and issues in long-standing relationships with colleagues and social groups, right? And so definitely check those out. They may be very relevant. And I wish you a happy full moon. Dear Libras, this full moon is illuminating your 12th house. Your 12th house is related to mental health, any addiction issues, and any ways that you've been in denial about something. It's related to musical, artistic projects, and even certain aspects of your image. I definitely take into account um, cusp signs, right? And so I'm really getting that with this full moon, you could be receiving news, revelations, or be at a crossroads and maybe even reaching karmic closure related to any issues that you've had related to your mental health, mental health care, any addictions that you've been battling, right? And um, perhaps even any ways that you've been in denial about something, right? Maybe denial in terms of refusing to bring something to karmic closure that you know needs to be brought to karmic closure, right? This could even be about um, 
reaching a closure or completion related to some sort of musical or artistic project and in general sort of being at a crossroads with certain aspects of your image, maybe things that you want to change or things that you have changed that you're still adjusting to in general. Um, But in general, for a full astrology breakdown about this particularly how Saturn and Pluto are expected to bring major changes in the world and in your personal lives. According to your zodiac sign, check out the new video posted on this channel and linked below. And I hope that you have a happy full moon. Dear Virgos, so this full moon is in your first house, which is your sense of self, right? How you see yourself, how you want to be seen, your identity, your relationship to your body and your body image, and how you dress and adorn yourself and also related to your personal boundaries. So you could be having certain revelations or feeling at a crossroads or feeling like you want karmic closure related to some aspect of your identity in terms of how you feel about yourself, how you see yourself, how you want to dress yourself, how you um, identify, and even how you um, enforce your personal boundaries. Your relationship to your personal boundaries could be changing really powerfully at this time. And in general, you could be feeling like you want to purge and shake up your aesthetic in some way right? And for a full astrology breakdown about how Saturn and Pluto could be bringing big changes in the world in your personal lives, especially um, the higher sort of spiritual and practical lessons of these 20-year defining sort of changes that are up for us, take a look at the reading linked below on this channel and in the description box. Have a happy full moon. Dear Leos, so this full moon is illuminating your second house, which suggests that anything related to finances, your personal assets, and also even your sense of your self-worth and how that plays a part in your ability to negotiate contracts and your finances and your net worth, these are the kind of things that could be illuminated for you with this full moon, right? And that could be um, changing, transforming in a major way, right? Um, Or even just particular sort of contract negotiations and financial dealings could be coming to uh, karmic closure, right? And in general, perhaps you even entering into a new tech a new tax bracket, right? Or a new sense of confidence in your self-worth and in asserting your sense of self-worth and your net worth, right? In your business dealings. These are the sorts of things that could be illuminated for you with this full moon. And in general, for a full astrology breakdown about this, including psychic oracle insight on how Saturn and Pluto are expected to bring big changes in your personal lives, according to your zodiac sign, definitely check out the new video posted on this channel and linked below. Definitely give this video a like and subscribe and come back for more. Happy full moon. Dear Cancer, this full moon is illuminating your third house, right? And the third house has to do with writing or teaching projects in your daily routines. And so with this house being illuminated, you could have revelations or be at a crossroads and even reaching karmic closure and resolution and any issues with writing or teaching projects and your daily routines. If, for instance, you've had issues with time management, with strict scheduling or dependable transportation or even a routine for writing and publishing deadlines or um, having a consistent journaling routine even to help with your mental health or if you've had any issues with siblings these sorts of things could be illuminated as perhaps coming to karmic closure for you at this time. So for a full astrology breakdown about this and more, including psychic oracle insight on how Saturn and Pluto is expected to bring 
incredible dynamic changes in the world and in your personal lives according to your zodiac sign, check out the new video posted on this channel linked below in the description box. And I wish you a happy full moon. Dear Gemini, so this full moon is illuminating your fourth house. And so you could be experiencing revelations or be at a crossroads and even reaching karmic emotional closure with any issues with writing blocks, with your daily routines, if you had any issues with time management, scheduling or dependable transportation or even a routine for writing and publishing deadlines or a journaling routine to help your mental health or any issues or concerns about siblings, these sorts of things could be illuminated. This could also indicate a turning point in any issues related to feeling secure and where you live, any issues with home and family life, and in general, perhaps your material and financial security, right? And healing core wounds from family and childhood issues. Gemini has been in for so much change, right? And so for a full astrology breakdown about this, including psychic oracle insight on how Saturn and Pluto are expected to bring changes in the world and in your personal lives according to your zodiac sign, check out the new videos posted on this channel and linked below. Have a happy full moon. Dear Taurus, so this full moon is illuminating your fifth house, right? And this suggests that you could be having revelations or be at a crossroads or reaching karmic closure related to healing deep core wounds from family and childhood issues, right? Or um, any issues related to your romantic life, your relationship to your sexuality, creative artistry, and creative entrepreneurship, or even your relationship with pets and children. And um, definitely, if there are any issues with children, child care, pets, pet care, um, Look into the health of your children and pets. These are some of the things that could be illuminated, right? If there's any red flags or if there's time to make any healthcare appointments for checkups, definitely do it um, and don't delay. But in general, um, for a full astrology breakdown about this, including psychic oracle insight on how Saturn and Pluto are expected to bring changes in the world, and in your personal lives according to your zodiac sign, check out the new video posted on this channel and linked below. And I hope that you have an incredible full moon.